Yes, yes, we will still be doing Beltane celebrations come spring. Now, how are our seed inventories? Eivor, you came! Hello, Tefter. Are you well? I must say, the sight of you warms a weary heart. A warm heart is welcome. And what of your other parts? Why warm them as well? Oh, you do revel in rendering me a foolish mess. I thought you might be cross with me with how your last visit ended. It was not the time to act on what I felt. Now it is. Oh my. Does that frighten you? No. I've been kidnapped, beaten, and almost sacrificed to an old god. Does that qualify me to court a Dane? Is there a patch of Glowachester away from prying eyes? God's country this, but more than that, my soul's retreat, reminding me why I took on the burden. I used to run from home. It felt too small for me. But now I enjoy my wanderings for other reasons. Different paths have led us here, but you are a force of nature. Like the sun. I am a timid creature, lucky to bask in your warmth. I've composed a verse or two about it, if you'd like to hear what I've... My God, that was... dare I say it... divine. I was right to wait. Wait for what? You're the first I've given myself to, Eivor. I promised that it would be with someone who fills my heart and soul. I am honored by the sentiment, Teftir. But your heart and soul stuffing cannot be me. Some passions are fleeting, and for that they are all the sweeter. Wait! I have more poems to arouse your scaldic heart. Only give me time to gather them Teftir, and... thank you. For all this... It was lovely. You are lovely, but I must go. Oh, if you must. Safe travels, my friend.
The Nornir told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt. Till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. You mean from Asgard, do you not? My debt to you is paid in full? Yes, as promised. Thank you, Harvey. I... Uh, I did not expect you to remember. Where will you go next? Under the mountains of Svartalfheim. Our mountains. To free the Earth's riches. For this is what I know best. You're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it, then? 
We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes. Dweller of the Fens. An apt name for his current fate. Fenrir! A good word has come! Believe me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard, without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the color, or return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Fair. Be swift, Harvey. Harvey? Nice. Unbind him! Harvey! Here you stay, Fen Dweller! Fight one another. Kill one another. The home of the gods turned red. Red with gold. 
Strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way. There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate, I know. You made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki, but I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you.
Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will search to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. Fight well with your offhand, as if born to it. Easier than expected. And how does the world look through a single eye? It keeps me alert, focused. You're strong as ever, Tyr. I'm glad for your swift recovery, buddy and Hooker. What's done was bound to be. I bear no ill will to any here. Not you, not Fenrir, not even Loki. I'm not ready to forgive the trickster. Will you punish him? Not in this life. But he will not join us in immortality. The world we wake into will be free of his malice. If it must be so. Spread your wings, Suna. Hilliard, they are. 
Eivor, you have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I returned to Asgard. And what did you see? I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son, with an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and I prevailed, but I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend, things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables, yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? There was a... a betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. I stood by as the great wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning. But I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? I witnessed a final vision from the Nornir. The coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash. A chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Genungagap. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us. We drank the mead and stood and marched to our doom. That was the end of the Nornir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? I can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand. Or, I hope I do. Thank you, Valka. Sigurd wishes to speak with you. He is quite agitated. Has something happened? You will want to speak to him yourself. Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more, on my final voyage back to Norway, to wish my father farewell and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Greetings.
I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... And beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We'll leave now, and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. Sigurd, shall we then, Eivor, to Norway, and well beyond? To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you'll light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Need your eyes, my friend. That poor soaker, he never leaves. From sun up to sundown, he just sits there, staring into his horn. Once, just once, I'd have him take a bath. He was a king once, that one. You'd never know by the way he sulks. We should go. Look at him. Father. By Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer! What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood! We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? 
I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. And what have you done with yourself since? Drink heavily and weep for what might have been? I have... I have worked hard to broker peace across our land. To spread Harald's message of unity. I heard you sleep beneath Harald's bed. Always at his back and call. And that he uses your gaping mouth as a chamber pot. You make light of my service to a great and powerful man. Is that how you treat those who serve you, Sigurd? You pathetic worm! Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate. To save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was... Uh... He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd. From the day you were born... I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He is my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. Good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. If you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Abel. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them. Warmed by their love. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. 
Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> to the waves. Let the sail out! Eagle. Our passage. Yes, I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This will deal with the elf king, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he'll push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England. We stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful. I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. But she was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him, and no one believed... And we chiseled our plans onto tables and meat halls. Not even my father. There is the Sigurd I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I am with you, brother. Until the end. in our way. 
Keep moving forward! You know the way! As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To perish on a lonely fjord would be the shame of our clan. Ha! That we won't! to pass. Ah, oh, the sting of ice and skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With this ship where we have meat and food to warm us. No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods. They will not seek or find you. We must go to them. We would be poor company with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice. You need not fear the cold, Eivor. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. It is bitter cold, this wind from Niflheim. Keep steady! It should not be far now! For the sake of frozen fingers, I hope so. There. That frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? You will see soon enough. Too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! This looks fragile. Can you clear it? My heart races. This is it. Gods, this door. Have you seen this before?
Thank you.